Hello and welcome. Today we get to go over lessons 25 through 28 and I'm excited to get started. So get your manual, get a pencil, get something to write with or write on. Maybe you don't want to write in your book. Should have said this a lot sooner than this. If you don't want to write in your book, get some little sticky tabs or those little sticky notes. You can make notes on it, then you can stick it on in there and then that way you keep your manual nice and clean. How did your children do with the evens and the odds? Hopefully everybody did pretty good. Just know, as I've been saying all along, they're gonna have more time to practice. This week, we're going to do a little bit more with 10 or tens. So let me show you what materials you'll be using this week. You're gonna need your abacus. You'll also need a heart. You'll have to make that yourself. Some scissors, yellow is a sun book, your tally sticks, the worksheets, glue, tiles, your dry erase board, and the dot cards, which, as I said before, are the even and odd cards. So go ahead, open up your manual to lesson 25. It's going to be writing twos, ten, working with tens, and equilateral triangles. Now the tens, it's not going to be like what you probably think it might be like. This is done differently than anything I've ever seen before, but it's amazing. It's amazing how it works, even though it's a little bit odd to say. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So go ahead, get it open. Of course, I say this all the time, just bears repeating, because I don't know, maybe you're new to watching this, maybe you're not. Those of you who are not, just bear with me. The warm up is review. If you have a child that needs the warm up, do the warm up. If you have a child that's like, oh my gosh, I know this, please don't make me do it. Don't do it. <laughs> but then again, maybe through the day at other times, you can ask some of these questions or do some of these things that are in the warm up to see if they really do truly get it. So, you know your child, just go with your child on this. So on this lesson, I really want to spend time on the section, Tens on the Abacus. So we're going to work on the abacus, and you're going to ask your child to enter 10 on the first row, 10 on the next wire, and then let, her, let them know we're going to call this 210. How many tens do you see here? Well, we see two of them. That's what we're going to call it. And I'll go into more detail here in a little bit on why. But you're going to enter other numbers. We're going to call it 410. If you have a child that knows this is 40, great. That's awesome. However, we're going to call it 410 for a season and you need to encourage them that that's what we're going to do and i'm going to show you why this concept of 10 and you can see this in the explanations it is really really vital this helps to solidify place value like nothing i've ever seen done before and i know for us my personal testimony to right start was i have six children i used a variety of math curriculum when we got to place value, we were stumped. My kids were struggling. I understood it, but I couldn't explain it. Like I understood it to do it, but I didn't understand it well enough to explain it. And again, I've been homeschooling since, you know, the beginning of time. No, not really, but feels like it. Uh, for a long time, at the beginning of the internet, let's just put it this way. We didn't have lots of resources to turn to like you guys do. I struggled and I hopped around to different curriculum and I came across Bright Start and uh, we tried it out. I tried it out and I remember thinking, we'll see how they teach place value. And if we can make it through place value, this will be the curriculum we use. Guess what? It was weird. It was awkward. It was like nothing I've ever done before, but oh, wow, 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 did my kids get place value. Not only did they get it, 
I understood it well enough now that I can explain it to others. So anyway, enough about me. Back on to why we say the tens the way we do for a season. It's not forever. They'll go back to using our traditional names. But think about this. The English language, we use a lot of different words. I'm going to use an example. I'll use this example on the abacus. What number is this? We know what number we call it. We call it 13. When children are young, this word 13, 12, 11, very confusing on how to write the number. Because in 13, you hear the three, the 13 first. And so a lot of kids will want to write the three first. But what if we call it 10, three? And they start seeing it as 10, three, a one for a 10, a three for the ones. And we're going to see this more as we get into lessons, but I'm wanting to help you understand now because a lot of people think this is really awkward. And I agree, it was awkward for me too, but it's the way I actually think now about it. It's really interesting because it makes so much sense. So here's another example. Let's talk about patterns. So we say, what do we say for here? We would call this 4,000, 400, 40, and four. But what if we call it and follow the pattern 4,000, 400, 410, four? And let's look at it this way. We say 4,000. So they're seeing there's three places behind our number. 400, we're seeing that there's two places behind this number. 410, we're seeing that there's one place behind the number, and then we just have four. So the pattern by calling it 10, 410, makes a lot of sense when you think about all the other ways we call our numbers. And so for a season, that's what we're going to do. But because we do live where we normally would say 40, it's going to seem really weird if our child goes around saying 410 or 3102 or 610. So just for a season, remind them it's just temporary. And if they also struggle with the fact that they know the real name, let's talk about names then. My name is Debbie. I'm also known as mom. I'm known as grandma. I have other names. I'm still the same person. 40 is still 40, even if we call it 410, for just a little bit, a few months, that's what we're gonna do. So encourage your children that even though they know the name, the traditional name that we use, we still want them to use what we call the math way of saying the number. So just like on our abacus, we can enter. We can see quickly, oh, that's 110. If I do this, I see that's five. When I do this, I can see, oh, that's seven. We've been working on it. They're gonna learn to recognize it. Even this way, because notice, Ah, let me get that little bead over there. Notice how the color changes after the fifth row. So even when we're looking at tens, we can immediately see there's six tens. Some children may not see that change of color as readily as they did when they saw it this way. So for some children, it's going to take them a little bit of time to get where they can see the changing of the color when we're looking at it by tens. Just be patient. They'll get it. Look on the second page where it says worksheet five. It's asking the ch for you to have your child cut out the triangles. Now. I'm gonna throw out that you may want to make a copy of this worksheet page just because 
what if your child messes up the worksheet i don't know if you i'm just going to show look how dark it is it's very dark now you can see the lines i don't know if i can get it even close enough that you could see the lines so when i printed it out i put my printer on the lightest i could get it which here you can see the lines a little bit better it's still dark when I printed it out without changing any colors, look, it was like black, black. So I just want you to be aware. Now it shows in the lesson how you want to encourage them to make different designs with them. Most, most of your children are not gonna probably know what some of these designs are, but you can still encourage them to make the designs. They don't have to know what the math term is for the designs and if they're not sure how to make it you could always lead them don't make it for them your children may come up with completely different shapes than what's on here that's all right let them be creative let them explore encourage your children to be gentle that's another good reason why you might want to make an extra copy or two of this worksheet because they're going to be using these triangles again tomorrow. All right, lesson 26, writing five tens and the 10 triangle. In the writing five, your child will be practicing writing five on the marker board. You will demonstrate it for them and then let them try it for themselves. You will also be practicing entering different quantities of 10 on the abacus and having your child name them. And look, this is what I thought. This is what I thought was pretty cool. I have never thought about it like this. If you enter all the B's on the abacus, how many 10's have you entered? You've entered 10, 10. What else is it known as? a hundred i never thought about a hundred being ten tens how cool is that so i wrote this out for your benefit ten tens did you ever think of a hundred as ten tens i have never it's pretty neat isn't it so you'll see that we're going to ask a child to make the stairs to four I'm going to give you a second. Look at this. Look at this. Why do you think we're asking the child to do this? Well, if maybe you figure this out, maybe not. I'm going to do this a different way. We're going to ask the child to do this. Enter one two three and four have you figured it out yet yeah because one and two plus three plus four equals ten how cool is that so we're going to ask them to make these stairs that make groups of ten all over their abacus actually that's the in conclusion at the end so there's a section on that second page that's about making the 10 triangle they're going to use a page out of their worksheet they're going to glue the triangles just like you see on this page they'll glue it onto their own triangle now if you want to add color feel free like here's here's a yellow piece of paper you could trace the triangle from the worksheet onto this piece of paper and then they can do that if you have a child that would prefer more color otherwise it will be black and white and black and white could be cool too lesson 27 we're going to introduce adding writing numbers continues just like you've been doing through the week but today's focus is number six then notice the last activity on that first page that's a fun one just have them grab a random amount of the tiles 
and they're going to work with that in their abacus, adding one tile and then adding a bead to represent the tile. It's just helping to prepare them, as you see in the explanation, what it's preparing them for. And then on the last page, it's talking about adding on the abacus. Again, we're going to use the word and. We're not adding, we're saying and, as in five and five. So here, I'll, use, I'll show you on the abacus. Let's just say we say, well, it's what's one and three. And then because they can recognize this quantity, they should be able to tell you, oh, it's four. Well, what's five and five? 10, because they recognize it. So there's a lot of different numbers on here that you can work with them on. Last lesson of the week, lesson 28. Writing eight and evenness. So they're going to determine evenness in this lesson. They're going to figure out, is this even or is it not even? And they're going to start writing their numbers on paper with pencil. Notice, we're not learning anything really new. We are hoping our children will be able to determine if something is even or not. So we're still working with evens and odds, but we're using different activities to help cement that concept. It makes it a little bit more fun having different activities. So we have made it through this week. And next week, we will be working on lessons 29 through 32. Can you believe we're already getting into lessons in the 30s? This is so fun, isn't it? Well, at least I hope it is. So you have a good week. Have fun with your kiddos. Enjoy your math. And I'll see you next week. Until then.